Look into my eyes. Do you see fear? You come at me with sword and spear, but I come in the name of the God of Israel. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> right between the eyes! Did you see that? Anyone? Uh, of course not. Okay, then. One more time. <laughs> tally, tally, no, no. I'm trying to protect us from this Philistine. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, not that way. Come on. Back to your mom. Right, Philistine. Oh, wait. Right between the eyes. Oh, of course. That one you saw. Tally! Tally, no! I'm coming, girl! I will bring her home safely. Uh. Whoa! Wait, no! There you go. I'm almost in love! Doesn't help. <laughs> that does <laughs> stop. <laughs> Thank you. Hi there, and welcome to this live stream about David, the animated feature film. We're so excited 
to connect with you as we kick off 2023. There's so much happening and we, yeah, we're just so excited to share with you. Tonight, I'm going to just quickly start by telling you, I'm going to quickly give you the run of show. I'm going to talk about our trip to Zimbabwe and why we went to Zimbabwe, back to the origin and where the story started. We're also going to look at how movies and media shape culture and why they're such an important part of our modern society. And we're going to tackle that. Then there's a special surprise at the end, which I don't even know what it is. So if you can ha hang in for that, that'll be fun. So yeah, those are the three things we're going to do. Just to say, this is a very relaxed um, and supposed to be a very relational live stream. So if you've got any questions, any comments, please dive in, ask them. You know, our, our passion is to be transparent and relational. And we've used this quote on live stream. It's one of my wife's favorite, which is, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. And that's an African proverb. So we really want to go together with you. So if you've got questions, if you've got comments, please make this, this live stream as interactive as you would like and, and you know, get that, that through. So we're going to kick off. Before I go to the Zimbabwe trip and just tell you why we went back to Zimbabwe to kick off 2023, I, give you, I want to give you a quick recap on where we are in production. So typically an animated feature film takes four to seven years to make, which we've said before, but I think it's great just to recap. If we stay on track with our financing, we are on track to finish the movie at the end of 2024 and release in 2025. So of that four to seven years, we've got two years left. And if you'd like to find out more about the project, you can go to angel.com slash David. There's a whole lot of information there. If you'd like to invest and support us, you can. And that's where you can find out a lot more information, angel.com slash David. The other thing I want to say is, so much of the beginning of a movie is like a building site where you're digging foundations, you're getting all the materials together. And that phase is done. We are past, we basically at nearly halfway in the budget. So the foundations are dug. All our characters are designed. All our world is designed. We are in our fifth of the script. There's been a lot of music development. And the exciting thing I wanted to share is that since our first crowdfunding round um, at the end of 2021, we are now in production. So we are actually building the world, building the environments, building the characters. The building has begun. So we've got above foundation stage and we're now building, which is amazing. And so exciting when you start to see all this hard work, those four trips to Israel that we did to research and all that incredible like foundational work that um, is now being done. And one thing we know from building, the deeper your foundations, the, the bigger your building is. So we've really poured in so much passion, worked with some of the world's best professionals um, to dig that foundation. But the next thing now is it starts to become visible what you're doing. And what I'd like to share is if you start tuning in for our March live stream, we're going to do one live stream a month. We're going to start really giving people on this live stream a look behind the curtain. What goes on behind production? We're going to start sharing a lot of the work we're doing so you can actually see what we're doing and see the progress because we know what's happening. We're so excited. We've got an amazing team, so passionate about what they're doing, but we'd like to start sharing that with you. So on this first live stream, we're going to just kick off the year, but, but on the next one, we're really going to start sharing a lot with you. So as we started 2023, there was so much happening, so much excitement. Um, my wife and I decided to go back to Zimbabwe, the country of my birth, and a place where the David movie was ignited 20 years ago. I'm going to talk about it a little bit, but there's a little video that was put with some of the footage from our trip there. This is a place called Kariba, which is an amazing lake. It's about 300 kilometers long on this beautiful river called the Zambezi River. And for me, that's where David was birthed 20 years ago. As I lived and, and walked with elephants and buffalo and lion, and I read the stories about David, this larger-than-life character. I was, like, so inspired. You know, when, when he faces Goliath and he said, I fought the lion and the bear. And I was just, having grown up in these great outdoors, it was just so igniting and, and so exciting. And at the same time, I was so excited to connect with God because in Acts it says, I found in David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which we've said a lot on the live streams. But I just want to share it for those who are new to the live streams. That's what really ignited the story, saying if we could tell an amazing version of David's story in animation, because animation has got this power to cross race, cultural age and gender barriers. It will really connect with the world and maybe give people a glimpse of the exciting and adventurous heart of God. Because so many people's view of God, that's the Victoria Falls, by the way, that's showing now. It's, it's on the Zambezi River, one of the biggest falls in the world. It's incredible. One of the seven natural wonders of the world. Um, that cloud that you're seeing was a picture my daughter took on Kariba. Just this huge expanse of water, no civilization anywhere around. Just, just so, so beautiful. 
But we went back there. There's, a, there's also a story in the Bible where Jesus arrived at Mary and Martha's house, and, and Martha was super busy and stressed, and Mary just sat and actually talked to Jesus. And he said to uh, Martha, Mary's, Martha complained, saying, you must tell Mary to jump up and help me. And he's saying, no, Mary's actually chosen the better thing. And what we sensed as we started the year, because there's such a big amount of time, it's exciting, but there's a lot to do in the David movie. We really felt God saying, come sit at my feet and just start the year by listening and talking to me. So that's why we went back to Zimbabwe. And it was where the David movie was. It was where it all started to ignite. And, and it was just so exciting to go back and remember that and just connect and just take a moment to be still, to reflect, and also let those creative juices just really be rejuvenated and start to flow. Um, so I just wanted to share that because it was a very special time and just reignited the passion for this. Um, but I want to move on. Um, and just quickly to say, if you just joined the live stream, if you want to find out about more about the project, there was a little tab up that's angel.com. Um, that's where you can go to find out more about the project. Join in the project and join the adventure if you'd like to. So you're welcome to go there. Um, now I want to quickly move on. And most of us know this, but I quickly want to talk. Why support and why get involved in films and movies and media? Um, and, and I want to say this is far bigger than a business. In fact, that's not the core reason for doing this at all, although obviously we want to make it brilliantly and do as good a job as we can commercially. But at the heart of it is the power of story. We know that of the 40 parables Jesus told, only one had the word church and one had the word God, but the others were everyday stories that got under people's defense mechanisms and planted a seed. And if you look at the power of stories, it's incredible how it moves society. One friend of mine in the U.S. who was deeply involved in U.S. politics, and he was doing so, so well, but he actually moved into film and media because he said what he realized is that politics is so far downstream, upstream, you've got the arts music, media, movies, books, um, and this is influencing and shaping society's thought patterns, their belief, inspiring them, and, and that's where so much of the action is actually. So that's why he moved from politics into media. And I wanted to run through a few quick examples tonight. We know there's so many, but I wanted to run through a few quick examples of how story really changes things and ignites things. Um, so I'm going to start with a small Welsh club called Wrexham Soccer Club. Most of us had never heard of them. Um, that's the name of it there. They're, I think they're like fifth division in the in the UK. And by the way, obviously from the US point of view, you know, firstly you've got basketball, baseball, American football, and soccer is further down in terms of the US. So this, what's interesting though, this was the highest trending topic um, in the US last week. And and why is that? What made this fifth division nothing club from Wales becomes so popular, and it goes down to story. And I'm going to pay you a little clip um, around this the story, and then I'll, I'll talk at the other side of it. So just in, just a very short clip. Enjoy it, and I'll, and I'll see you on the other side. Wrexham is a town that battles against odds constantly. It's an underdog story, and it's about interconnectivity between the club and the community. Football's more than a game. And what was amazing, that was a short clip, but basically Ryan Reynolds and his friend Rob McHillany, they, they bought the club and they turned it into reality. They brought you into the lives of this football club. You got to know the business owners, the players, the community. And that story just ignited this incredible interest in this club, which otherwise would not have been heard of. And so just to illustrate, that's one small example of our story connected with, with people. Another one which is super well known around the world, one of the biggest blockbusters of all time, is Top Gun. And we'll just play a little clip from Top Gun and then we'll, we'll talk as well. This is your captain speaking. And as we know, that movie, I think its box office was like $1.5 billion around there. So it was just connected with people. But the result, and I'll show you a few little slides of um, people signing up for, for the, uh, Navy, the Air Force and the Navy. So there's a few slides I'll just show you that followed on from. So it just created its interest in aviation, this, this movie. And they said there's some reports that saying applications to the Naval Aviation course went up 500%. As a result of this movie and you'll see even the air force not the naval air force there's another slide if you could just put it up 
these guys from the Air Force were actually recruiting and had a massive uptake in recruitment. So they were recruiting in cinemas and they just saw this massive, it just created so much interest in flying, in joining the Air Force, and it was just amazing the impact it had. Um, so that was one example. Another one which is particularly interesting for US audiences was Formula One. And basically we know that there was there's always been a lot of interest in Formula One, but not so much in the USA. Then this incredible Netflix um, documentary came out, Drive to Survive. Um, we'll just show one clip. You, many of you will know it, obviously, but I'll just show you one clip from one of the recent seasons and we'll we'll just talk about it as well. 2022 represents a new dawn for Formula One. The biggest overhaul the regulations have ever had. The drivers will love it. And what we saw through Drive to Survive was this massive interest. People who, I had one example just in my own family, one of my nieces who's not a sports fanatic at all. In fact, she doesn't like watching sport. After she watched Drive to Survive, she became an absolute, one of the, a fanatical fan. And, and loves the sport to this day. But just the stats that they showed, particularly in the US, the, the incredible increase in interest in Formula One just boomed. Once you got behind the story, understood the lives of the Formula One drivers and the teams, it really created this interest in the sport that before maybe a, too many people had just been a bit of a dry sport, a cars going round and round in circles, um, but it became real to them because they got behind, they knew the story behind, behind, the, behind Formula One. So again, it just shows you the power of story to really swing people. I'll use a couple of other examples. The one is uh, Lord of the Rings. And when the Lord of the Rings, after the first movie, I just want to get my stats right here, they were saying tourism in New Zealand went up 40% for five years. So the impact of that movie and people knowing it was shot in New Zealand just created this massive increase in tourism to New Zealand. Another example is Braveheart, a movie which many of you have seen, which is about Scotland and William Wallace. And to the William Wallace Memorial, they used to get 40,000 visitors a year. And for the few years after that movie, they got up to a million um, tourists a year to that monument, to the William Wallace Monument. And again, it just showed, and Scottish tourism just boomed as well after that. So it just showed you this amazing power, what a story does and how it creates an interest in that geography. Whereas before it could just be dry history to people, Scotland and England, suddenly it became exciting and interesting. So again, the power of story. Another one, which was Mamma Mia, and I don't have all in hand, but what we do know is the massive interest to the Mamma Mia 2 and the increase in tourism to Greece. And again, we talk about the increase in tourism because these are measurable things. But um, I just wanted to share the incredible power of movies to touch the world, to change the world, to impact the world. And our passion as filmmakers at Sunrise and on the David movie is to make a movie that will really inspire the world. Our motto for Sunrise Animation Studios is, is inspire is inspire through story. And that is our passion. Um, and, and our passion is to tell a, a, movies and stories that inspire the world and change the world. And I just want to say, if you look at the, the Bible, to many people it's maybe a, a dry old book. They don't even know what's in it. But if we can pull out a story like David, um, and particularly for uh, this comment, I just want to read it on screen because, and my kids and I support you. So, the focus I want to say is there's kids. So thank you for that comment. Um, because for kids especially, um, as they get out and watch the David film, it can make this book come alive. The characters suddenly jump off the page and you can track their story. And, and I've just pulled a few like examples, but so many examples of how powerful movies are to inspire people, to ignite people, to open their hearts. And, and often an academic lecture or an academic um, re reference to something just we, it's like chewing lead. We don't absorb it. But if somebody tells us a story, we get into it. I've often looked at like CNN News, if there's a massive disaster like a tsunami or something, if they're just reporting on that, it's so big, people don't really absorb it. But if they get into the story of a mom who lost her daughter in that tsunami and they tell their story, suddenly you feel connected and you can identify with the tragedy in that, in that particular story. And so we really believe that telling a story about David will ignite and inspire people around the world. It'll bring a, a very fresh point of view. Whether you Jewish, Christian, or secular, this movie can really ignite um, your heart and make you think about God in a different way, which is, which is exciting. And it's going to be entertaining because David was a long life character. He was incredibly musical, as we know. He wrote half the Psalms in the Bible. So we can really weave music into his, um, into his thing authentically. 
um, into the story. So that's that's incredibly exciting. The the whole music aspect of this as well. So yeah, I just wanted to share that because I think so often we don't realize how powerful stories are. And if you join this adventure, there's many challenges ahead of us and and lots to do. But we are really passionate about making a movie. The other thing I want to say is, which we've answered in live streams before, but seeing as I'm talking about stories, why animation? Why not a live action film like Braveheart or Gladiator? And there's definitely kind of movies but animation has this amazing power to cross race cultural age and gender barriers better than any other medium and also our passion is to go right around the globe every year you maybe get a thousand to two thousand live action films made and maybe 10 to 15 animated feature films but if you look in the top 10 at the box office there's always three to four animated feature films which shows you the incredible power of animated films to get around the globe whether you're four years old whether you're 94 years old you can access and enjoy an animated film. It's also the way that families can connect and watch a story together. So that's why we chose the medium of animation. The thing about animation, you look at Lion King, the animated feature film Lion King, so many of us 20 years later, our, our kids are now, we watched it, and then our kids are now watching it because it's got that longevity. Whereas live action films do fade, but animated feature films have got this ability to go on. The other thing, um, and sorry if I'm talking so much, but it's so exciting, is the incredible power of animated feature films to turn into other things like Broadway musicals. So Lion King turned into this amazing Broadway musical. And to this day, it's Disney's, the Broadway musical version of Lion King is Disney's single biggest earner. And not that I'm focusing on the money side of it, but the $8 billion that that musical has made is Disney's single biggest earner, which shows you how, how many people have gone to watch the Lion King musical. So if we can amazing animated feature film it's got the power to ignite and then move into other products that come off that animated feature film and just to say we are so so passionate um, about quality that is one of our biggest goals. we want to make a movie that is genuinely and I hope you can see that from the demo you watched that is genuine saw and Disney movies in terms of quality and look of film and in store in story we have even bigger punch in terms of story punch and heart and weight um, so that's our passion. We're working artists from 17 countries around the world, some of the best of the best in the world. And it's just been amazing how this film has just got such a magnetic pool to such an incredible talent pool around the world. So I want to really tell you is there's an amazing team working on this project, people who love it and are really crafting and making it beautiful. Um, yeah, so I don't know if there's been any questions at this point. I'll just pause in case there are. I'll be fine. Um, if there's any questions or comments, for those of you who have been noticing on the screen, if you have been investing, and we just want to say thank you because it's so to, to do this as a community. And if you'd like to support and find out more, it doesn't even have to be financially. If you'd just like to find out more, you can go to angel.com slash David. And there's a lot of information. Um, yeah, there's a question from Nick. Can't wait. How long will the project take? So quick recap on animated feature films. Typically, four to seven years to make a quality animated feature film. We've got two years left, um, 2023 and 2024. That's if we keep our funding on track, that all goes well, which we're aiming to. Um, then we'd finish the movie at the end of 2024 and we'd release it in 2025. So we're well into the project. We well like the halfway mark in terms of budget, the halfway mark in terms of time. And uh, for us, two years feels a very short time because we know how long an animated feature film takes. It might feel long for people who are not from the animation industry, but yeah, so two years to go all being and then release the film in 2025, which is so exciting. Okay, when do you hope to record the voices? That's a great question. So the voices are actually going to be recorded very soon because the reason you've got to do that, and that'll be in 2023, in this year. Um, and the reason you record voices early is because you've got to animate to the performance of the actors. Um, so we'll start the casting process um, this year and we'll start recording voice year because then in 2024 we'll be using those performances to animate to. Um, and yeah, we've got a very exciting plan in terms of our casting. Um, and yeah, so very, very excited about that. The next question, um, what is the talent behind this film? I saw that you have some Pixar veterans. Thank you for making this feature. So thanks, the talent behind this film. It's absolutely amazing. So. Just as an example, besides the incredible team, the core team based in South Africa who've been with us for 20 years, the studio has been running for 20 years, just so you know. We've made, um, we've just finished our second 
second and um, so David's not the first project we're making, but there is some amazing talent from the world. I'll give you some examples. There were two guys who had Pixar for 20 years, and one guy was like a head of story at Pixar, worked on Finding Nemo, and worked on projects like that. We had another amazing artist, a uh, character designer called Boca Montora, a Spanish guy, wonderful human being, incredible artist. He's one of the original artists on Tarzan, and he was one of our core character designers for the, when we were designing the characters. We had this amazing connection of Spanish, European, and then a US artist as well working on the project, connecting with our incredibly strong um, South African team who've got this amazing, amazing shorthand between us. Great, and there's one more. Who are the actors? Who are the actors or cast, particularly who'll be playing Young David? So that's a great question. Love that. A few things in our philosophy on voiceover. With Young David, we'd like to find a talented, unknown actor. So this movie will hopefully be their breakout because we want to just find someone unknown. The other thing, as far as possible, when it comes to casting someone, we try to be as authentic as possible and look for actors of Jewish origin. Um, or your know, ancestry, if possible. Um, so not hard and fast, because the, the performance has got to be brilliant, And but where we can, we're going to try and find that. So our ideal would be to, uh, for some an unknown actor of Jewish origin to act David. And then what we're doing for the older actors, we're going for perhaps better known voiceover actors, um, which I can't disclose tonight, unfortunately, but we've got a, an amazing list who we're starting to approach to pull into the movie. Um, yeah, and the voiceovers... It's really, we love the voiceover side of it because it's such it's the moment where you get the expression of the characters as part of the characters. A character like Saul, for example, is an incredibly three-dimensional character, a very complex character. He's a hero, but is also a villain and is very complex in what and what's making him. So your voice of that character is key. Linked to voice also is music, by the way. So for those of you who see the show, man, that was an amazing the way they wove music into the story. And as I was saying, David wrote half the Psalms. So music and his singing is going to be authentically part of our story because it's, it's very much who he was. So you're not like force fitting it in. And so when we're casting, it's also to look at the singing talents and we deep into the music development of the project already. There were actually about 18 to 20 demo songs that were written. And now we're digging back in. So there's an incredible amount of work going into the, the music of the movie as well. So exciting because music just gives so much um, soul to, to, to a movie. Um, yeah, and the other thing I wanted to say is what we're really aiming at to bring out of this movie, Brent, the other director, describes this movie as perhaps to give you a feeling of the, the what it will feel like. It's a between Prince of Egypt and Tangled. So the energy and fun and humor of Tangled, but the authenticity and beauty of uh, Prince of Egypt. What our real passion, though, is that the story carries so much heart. There's an amazing Neil Diamond song that says, money talks, but it can't sing and dance and it can't walk. And so budget can buy you amazing visual effects. What we, what we know that budget can't always buy and can't, well, can't buy is actually soul and creativity and a deep creative outworking of a project. So we really, really hope and pray that this movie carries such a beautiful anointing and just as a gift to the world that will inspire the world for generations to come. Yeah, so thanks for those questions, by the way. That's awesome. We're going to go shortly to there's a, there's a surprise, um, which I don't know what it is either. But before we go there, just a quick recap. If you want to support the project or know more about the project, you can go to angel.com slash David, and, and that's where you can find out more. There's information there about the talent, about Sunrise Studios, projects we've done in the past. Um, so there's a lot of information in that sense as well. Um, oh, but we're not going to go to our surprise yet. Sorry, there's another item. And we've got some amazing guests who've been on this live stream and who are friends of the project, supporters of the project, um, some even more than that, like Tim Tebow is actually an executive producer on the project. And what the Angel Studios team have just put together is a little montage for us of some of the guests who've appeared on the show and our fans, supporters, and on the journey with us. So we're going to watch that video, and then I'll connect with you before we go through to the surprise side of things. Hi, Phil. It's Mary from Angel Studios. Um, and by the way, I'm right in front of the conference room that we have named after David and we know you guys have been working on this project for so many years and it's only been in the public eye for a little over a year 
but we wanted to, to let you know how much people are already so passionately excited to see this film in theaters. So take Hey away. team, making the David movie. We're super excited to see the David movie. I can't wait for more Bible stories with epic animation like you guys are working on to tell great stories for my son and my daughter to also watch. Judah, what are you excited about the movie David? Uh defeat a giant. To see David defeat a giant. So thank you for all the hard work you guys are doing. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, this is Chris Z over here, and I know that this is a surprise for Phil, so surprise! Uh, the one thing that I'm waiting for for the most for this David film is the music and, and the soundtrack and the songs, you know, with people like Jonas and Jason Halbert involved, you already know that it's going to be great and fantastic, and it's just a matter of time, it's going to be woo! Fantastic. But the other thing that is on my mind is uh, all the voiceover work, you know? All the characters in the Bible, some that we know about, some that we don't, you know, what are they going to sound like? Will there be a voice like Schneider from Lord of the Rings? Will he just wants to find this precious maybe something? Or something like, I don't know, where he just wants to help the people to be back alive? Or, you know, like, like, gosh, David, we gotta go beat the sub. Who knows? There's so many voiceovers and so many voices and so many characters in these animated films, you know, some are goofy, some are scary. Some are, who knows, but those those are always exciting to hear. So that's what I'm looking forward to the most on top of the songs and music, as you know. I might be an atheist, but there is value in stories that give hope in facing impossible and odd narratives. I would watch this movie. I hope you find the funding. I would help, but I'm a poor Appalachian lady. Good luck. And I, I, I remember being really young and connecting with the story of David um, just because he was a commoner, you know, he, he he didn't even know until he was brought into the house and was anointed that he was anything other than just the shepherd boy and kind of like, kind of this, his brothers kind of had the clout. He didn't even have the clout. So I grew up in a family of, of six or six of us kids and I was five. And so I think I identified with Nobody really cares what I'm doing. I'm just out like doing this thing and nobody really cares about it. And I, I remember um, just being taught. Hey team, making the David movie. We're super excited to see the David movie. I can't wait for more Bible stories with epic animation like you guys are working on to tell great stories for my son and my daughter to also watch Judah. What are you excited for? Is coming. We all go through waiting periods while God refines and prepares us. Great things are about to happen here, though. I just know it. Hold fast, brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, I'm excited for David. Wow. Many, many reasons for that. Um, reason number one, and the most obvious reason probably, is besides Jesus, David is my favorite Bible character. He is very relatable. Psalms. Anybody? Yeah. So... I'm trying to keep my voice down. It's midnight right now and everybody's asleep. Anyways, reason number two is I've always wanted to see Bible stories get the same treatment like Disney movies do. Like I would, I've always wanted to see Bible stories be like tangled or frozen, you know. I've always wanted to see that and I always thought to make amazing films like Prince of Egypt. Like... That was an amazing film. I want more Bible stories like that. Um, and so I'm, I'm super excited that David is getting that treatment. So, yeah, that's just some of the reasons. Um, yeah, I'm I'm really excited for this. I've been hoping for, you know, projects like these to happen. And they're finally happening. And I just want to show people that Christians can be just as creative as anybody else, as Disney and DreamWorks, and then, yeah, I think this movie, along with all the projects I've seen Angel Studios doing, The Chosen, I mean, big fan of The Chosen, it's just showing that we can be just as creative, and yeah, so thank you, I'm, I'm super looking forward to seeing this. I'm not really a religious person, but I absolutely loved this. My kids did too. They sat right beside me and watched this entire thing three times. Um, after seeing the concept art and hearing the vision for authenticity, it's it's so much more than this. It was an opportunity to be a part of telling a story in a way that had never been told before. And 
um, your team is the animators are, are trying to show that in a visual way and I was excited about trying to tell this in a in a musical way that hasn't been heard before oh, the my, kids, my kids really laughed when he like hit himself and fell down of course you gotta love a good slapstick <laughs> yeah. moment um, just so the, I mean, right. when he's trying to think that that cute little sheep or goat, I guess I don't. He's he's a sheep. He's a baby sheep. Um, yeah, yeah. My, the lamb, lamb. My especially my my four year old. I immediately thought, and this is, I mean, I'm also a show creator like you, but I immediately thought like, oh, I would buy that stuffed animal for my little kid. <laughs> that cute little right. that cute little goat. I was like, oh yeah, that's so cute. Dolly. They, they love the goat. The part where he's <laughs> so like funny. hanging on the cliff and. I uh, was like, oh no, and I was like, he's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. Hi, my name is Marcy and I'm 14 years old. I grew up in a Christian household and my dream is to become a storyboard artist. Recently, I've become very doubtful I was ever going to have a place in the animation industry because of my views, but then I got an ad on Instagram for this project. The animation and character design had so much life and passion in it. I immediately asked my mom, to become a backer on this project, and she is so excited too. Your team has given me hope that Christian animation can still succeed. Thank you. Hi, Phil and Jackie. My name is Leilani. Um, I'm married to the love of my life for 18 years, and we have a son that's 17 and a daughter that's 10, and this is Daphne. I just wanted to make this video. I was so super excited that we could thank you through video um, for the project. Thank you so much for doing this for the children. When I first came across the trailer for David, I was just simply scrolling on my phone and it popped up. I immediately fell in love with it because it was so warm and inviting and the animation was just so up to date, very beautiful. Um, and I immediately showed my daughter and she fell in love with it too. And I also showed my son because we were making fun of him saying that uh, the character looked like him. <laughs> but um, I also fell in love with the behind the story of um, Phil and Jackie, um, how you were laying on the beach and you said, let's make a movie. I thought that was so beautiful um, that you shared something so personal in your marriage and now to see it come into fruition, um, that touched my heart as well. Um, thank you so much for doing the Lord's work because it really is about him and spreading the message um, through these animations. I can't wait to see how God is going to continue to bless your ministry and give us more to watch in the future. As a parent, um, we need these stories for our children. The story of David is just so many things. There's humility, there's um, obedience, there's learning life lessons, strength, um, and seeing how he really was a man of God's own heart and how much the Lord loved him and um, just blessed him through his journeys. Anyway, thank you so much for doing God's work. And as always, take care and God bless. From Chile, my two little girls like this demo a lot. We will be waiting to the David movie premiere. The story of David is one of their favorites of the Bible. We hope our God bless and multiply this type of cinematographic initiatives to bring biblical stories closer to people. I, uh, when I think of David, I, I honestly think about him more than, uh, as a psalmist than a king, although he obviously was a king. Um, yeah, and I think, too, just the, the um, I think just what the psalms have, have meant so much to me, and meant so much to so many songwriters and have been such a, for a connector, I would say, you know, because I'm in the psalms all the time. I don't only... Really, I don't only write the psalms. I've written so many. I've, I've co-written a lot of songs with David. I'll have to. I'll have to admit that. But they've been a life force for me in terms of my prayer life and walking my neighborhood. When you feel like you don't have anything, you can you run out of steam and you're trying to figure out what's going on and you know words to express. I pray the psalms. I pray the psalms. So, um, yeah, it's. Uh, it's probably it's my favorite book in the Bible, and that's probably my go-to uh, book more than any of them. My six-month-old baby loves the five-minute preview y'all have made. He can be screaming, and then I'll play the video, and he'll start smiling and cooing. We will definitely be showing this film to him when it's completed. It's literally the only thing that calms him down. 
Hi, Phil. My name is Anna. I've been following uh, David's journey on Instagram since October of 2022. And when I found out that David was going to be an animated film, I was so excited. I'm an artist and a Christian, and I was thrilled to know that there was a director that was willing to take up the mantle to tell King David's story and stay true to the source material. So the creative and spiritual side of me again, super excited. Um, so many times I have seen Hollywood downplay the stories of the Bible and it's really sad because the stories are so powerful and they're so deserving to be told, especially by the right group of people and you've decided to lead that group. So all I can say is thank you. Thank you for telling the story of King David, one of the greatest underdog stories of all time. And I say this to you and your team wholeheartedly, be strong and of good courage because David's going to be amazing and I can't wait to see it. Wow, that is so awesome. So to those of you who put that surprise together, thank you. Because it's just list, sitting there and listening is, well, it's a little bit overwhelming and just so inspiring just to hear that encouragement. And for those of you already on the journey with us um, and actually part of the team, if you're part of the community, that all those messages I was hearing, I hope you were hearing them as well and realizing those because it's 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 a community that's making this movie. It's a it's a whole group of artists, and it's a community supporting those artists that's bringing this thing to fruition. So, as I was listening to all those words of encouragement, um, well, it's so inspiring, and I hope you were inspired as well. Um, if you're part of this project, I hope you were like, wow, that's because I know every dollar is really important to people. And if you've put money into the project and you heard those messages, I really hope you were inspired as well. And for for us as filmmakers, that's so encouraging. It's like, wow, oh, that's awesome. Let's keep going. I mean, this started for us 20 years ago. So at this moment, that's a really great little video to get to keep you encouraged you as you get towards the finish line. You know, keep going, do it properly, finish strong, because we've been dreaming and building this project for literally 20 years. Um, and obviously accelerated now into the making of it, but it's been in our hearts and minds and we've been working at it for that long. Um, yeah, so those, those like, little videos thank you so so much to everyone who put that together and who took the time and effort to to video them um i can't remember the name of the lady i was particularly watching the one with the dog where i think the dog was falling asleep and then woke up <laughs> that's awesome but thank you guys that that is so wonderful and so special and really appreciate it i know the team here will appreciate those messages as well because people are working incredibly hard and giving of their very best just to craft a beautiful, beautiful movie. Um, and, I, and we'll share that video with them so they can also just be encouraged to keep going, keep pushing, and work for the best. Um, I'll share one last thing as we end off, actually. Um, reading a book called, which I've shared a little bit about it on a live stream before, but I think this moment is just to share hearing those videos. It's a book called Atomic Habits, and it talks about the aggregation of marginal gains. And if you do lots of small things well, you get this exponential growth and you go from good to great. And they were talking about the British cycling team and saying that in 100 years they've never won an Olympic medal. And then between 27, 2007 and 2017, they won six Olympic medals and won the Tour de France three times. And the, the coaching team who were in charge of that era, the big message they had was aggregation of marginal gains, like doing lots of little things really well creates this amazing result. And when you're making a movie, I found that so inspiring because to make a great movie, it's really going to stand the test of time and, and stand the test of time like a movie like Lion King. You've really got to go deep, do your research well, and, and really put in that, that effort to make every little element from the music to the voiceover to the, to the pots even. And we've got such a passionate team on the art side. They literally go down to incredible minute detail on the clothing, what people are eating, um, and just so you can hear that passion that's going into this project. Um, to end off, just to say what I said at the beginning, um, in, in our March live stream, we're really going to start to pull back the curtain and let you see what's happening behind the curtain. Because I just think that'll be so inspiring and encouraging when you can see the passion and the depth of work that's going into this movie. It's, it's actually mind-blowing um, when you start to see what's going on behind the scenes here. So tonight was more just of a kickoff and talking about the, the general impact of films on society and in our generation. But we'd like to really start to pull back the curtain and share the inner workings and how we work and the depth of work that's been going on already for many, many years and going on currently. So 
yeah, just want to say thank you so much for listening to this live stream, for sharing your thoughts, your questions. To end off, if you'd like to know more, you can go to angel.com slash David. There's a lot of information there. If you'd like to invest, you can go there as well. And if you just want to find out more about the project, you can go there. And thank you so much to the amazing, amazing community that's supporting this movie and this incredible team of artists that are putting it together. Please watch our journey. You can go on Instagram. You can go on Facebook. We will keep you up to date there. Our passion is to communicate with our community and walk this adventure together. So hope you have an amazing start to 2023 and look forward to connecting in March this year. Thank you so much for joining this live stream. Look into my eyes. Do you see fear? You come at me with sword and spear, but I come in the name of the God of Israel. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> right between the eyes! Did you see that? Anyone? Uh, of course not. Okay, then. One more time. <laughs> tally, tally, not <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm trying to protect us from this Philistine. <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, not that way. <laughs> Come on. Back to your mom. Right, Philistine. Oh, wait! Right between the eyes. Oh, of course. That one you saw. Tally! <laughs> Tally, no! I'm coming, girl! Shira! I will bring her home safely. <sighs> Whoa! I'm almost in love! Yeah.
What you have just watched is a concept short for a musical animated feature film on the story of David and our vision is to tell it in the same quality as movies like Tangled and Frozen. This is more than a movie, this is a movement to join people from all over the world to try and make the world's most watched animated theatrical release. You can help us make this film by going to angel.com slash David to invest today. Growing up in the wild of Africa was the most incredible experience and it was there that I bumped into the most amazing character of God and fell in love with him. At the same time, I was reading David's story, and it just really struck me. On one particular canoe trip on the Zambezi River, where you could canoe for days and not see a human being, I was reading the scriptures and I read, I found in David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. And I thought, how amazing it would be to do a film that could give people all over the world a glimpse into God's heart. We grew up on a farm that had no electricity. I only saw my first film when I was 14 years old and it was such an electric experience. I was blown away by the power of film and the power of story to connect with people and move people. And from that day, I became passionate to tell a story on the life of David. The question is, can a group of farmers from Africa make a global hit that's gonna reach the world? This is in and of itself an incredible David versus Goliath story. There's an African proverb that says, if you wanna go fast, go alone, but if you wanna go far, go together. And in order to tell a story as big as David, we need people from all around the world to come together. Over the last 20 years, Jackie and I have just been blown away by how God has miraculously drawn talent to us. Now we have the most awesome, high quality team. Like Nathan Stanton, who spent 22 years at Pixar. Borja Mentora, a Disney animation alumni. Other talent from massive films like Big Hero 6, Tangled, Finding Nemo, Zootopia, Moana, Prince of Egypt, and many more. Our first breakout hit is Jungle Beat, an incredible and beautiful show. On our YouTube channel, we get over 2 billion views a year. We've got 7 million subscribers. We also recently released our first animated feature film called Jungle Beat the Movie. And incredibly, it was on Netflix's top 10 for over two weeks, both live action and animated feature films in the US. We are also doing a theatrical release of Jungle Beat the Movie in China later this year and are in production of Jungle Beat the Movie 2. What really excites me is if you take Jungle Beat the Movie, we produce that for $5 million. And I'd really encourage you to go and watch it on Netflix to see the quality of movie we produce for that price. And just imagine the quality of movie we could produce on David with the proper budget. With David, we considered the route of engaging with Hollywood and there is significant interest down that route. But we really felt that from a creative point of view, we need to stay the head and not the tail of this project. And it's a slingshot, like David went with a slingshot to fight Goliath. We really believe that the strategy and needs to be outside the Hollywood system for it to work. In this vein, we are thrilled to be working with Angel Studios for distribution. Angel Studios did the TV series The Chosen, which has become the world's biggest TV series on the life of Jesus Christ. The Chosen has generated hundreds of millions of views and tens of millions of dollars. We've already got $19 million of investments and need another $35 million to complete this project. We need your help to bring God's heart to the world through the story of David. Go to angel.com slash David to invest in this film today. And let's join together to try and make the world's most watched animated theatrical release. <laughs>